committees. And you can have it all with your membership in the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. This is Strictly Business, presented by the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Sponsored in part by the Law Offices of Young Wooldridge, San Joaquin Community Hospital. Welcome back to Strictly Business, and now it's time for the closing bell. The Downtown Business Association presents a digital marketing workshop, Learn How to Boost Facebook Ads, with hands-on training from Carlin Jones. The workshop is tomorrow, January 13th, and that's from 11.45 a.m. to 1 p.m. at 1330 Truxton Avenue, Suite 116. It's free for DBA members and $10 for non-members, and lunch will be provided. To RSVP, call 661-325-7319. The Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce has a couple of upcoming events, and for more on those, here's Melissa Rossiter, Manager of Marketing and Communications at the Chamber News Desk. Good morning, Melissa. Morning, Nathan. We have a few events to tell you about this morning. Uh, join the Bakersfield Young Professionals at the Padres Prospect Lounge for its first pub club of 2015. It will be held Thursday, January 15th from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Padre Hotel. The event is free to attend. Pub Club is a monthly social networking mixer happening at the hottest spots in Bakersfield. Guys lose the ties and ladies kick off those heels. Pub Club is your opportunity to meet with other young pros and relax after a hard day's work. You also don't want to miss the Chamber's 2015 Annual Dinner Gala and Board Installation Dinner, which will be held on Thursday, January 22nd at the Doubletree by Hilton, located at 3100 Camino del Rio Court in Bakersfield. No Hills cocktails begin at 5.30 p.m., with dinner and program at 6.30 p.m. January 15th, which is this Thursday, is the last day to RSVP. For more information or to register, call the Chamber at 661-327-4421 or register online at bakersfieldchamber.org. And don't miss the next social media therapy session where you can learn how to use WordPress to change the way you market your business. Dustin Pitcher, the technical director for the Marcom Group, We'll explain WordPress, the world's most widely used content management system for websites, and the innovative ways you can use it to help your business. The session will be held Wednesday, January 28th at the Chamber office, located at 1725 I Street. Check-in check in and networking begin at 11.30 a.m., with the program running from noon to 1 p.m. Cost is $30 for members, $60 for non-members, and a box lunch will be provided. To register, call the Chamber at 661 327-4421 or online at bakersfieldchamber.org. And time is running out to register for the Chamber's upcoming Labor and Employment Law Update Forum tomorrow, January 13th at the Chamber office, 1725 I Street. Check-in and networking begin at 7.30 a.m. with the program running from 8 to 10 a.m. Dan Klingenberger with Labooth Thielen will help employers navigate the ins and outs of new laws that hit the books on January 1st. It's free for members and 40 for non-members. To register, call the Chamber at 661-327-4421 or online at bakersfieldchamber.org. That's all I have, Nathan. Send it oh. back to you, Ray. All right. Thanks, Melissa. Mm -hmm. um, WorkLogic HR will be hosting a webinar entitled Managing Employees in a Technological World. Employees' use of technology presents many challenges for employers. How do you keep them focused on work instead of on Facebook? Can you legally discipline them for online activity away from the workplace? Join us for this webinar to discover the answers to those questions and more. That webinar is Friday, January 23rd from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. The cost is $20 per person, and you can register online at worklogichr.com. This Saturday, the Chamber will be hosting an e-waste recycling event from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at our offices at 1725 I Street. For more information, you can call 661-327-4421. Or you can talk to our guest here, Neil Agnes. He's the business development manager with Allianz. Good morning. Good morning. Thank, Thank you for having me. Oh, a pleasure. So what kind of items will be accepted at Saturday's event? Well, Saturday we'll be accepting anything with a cord or a battery. Examples are computers, old television sets, laptops, cell phones, or less anything with the cord or runs on a battery. Okay, so what won't what won't we take? The things we don't want to take is any fluorescent bulbs or alkaline batteries. They are hazardous and they should go to Kern County Special Waste on standard. And so, uh, like I said, those are the only two items that we 
would prefer not to accept. Okay. Well, the chamber has partnered with you on several e-waste events over the years. So how does this uh, how does this benefit both organizations? Well, it, it, it's definitely a, a, a good program. It uh, it's a fundraiser, um, and uh, we're keeping the the toxins from the e-waste out of the landfills and ultimately our drinking water. So so we're actually bringing it back to the, to our facility, taking it apart, and uh, separating all the toxins and so forth. And also we're able to provide some money to the chamber for the fundraiser. So, and also when it adds jobs right here, we've gone from recycling uh, three years ago, about 200,000 pounds a month to 1.5 million pounds now. And we've increased our employment from eight employees to like 45 employees. And a lot has to do with the chamber's involvement. Okay. So those old computer monitors and things like that, what, what's inside those that people don't think about when they just toss them in the trash? And what ends up in the landfill that we don't? Well, the win? program started in 2005, and it was based on CRTs, with the, which is the cathode ray tubes. Mm -hmm. And each tube has five to seven pounds of lead in the glass. That was getting into our landfills, so they made it illegal to dump that into the landfills. So in 2005, they came with, with the law that no electronics are to be brought to the landfill. Okay. So that's how we got involved in the program. Okay. So if you can't make it this weekend, where can we drop re recycling items off? Where, what's, what's the plan if you can't make it this Saturday? Well, we're local here. We're located at 2301 Gibson. We're open from 7 to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. So you can drop off there uh, any time. Okay. And what else uh, should folks know about when they come on Saturday? Well, when you come on Saturday, uh, I want to make sure come in the alley off of 8th Street, the backside of the chamber. Follow the little green directional men. They have little red flags, so <laughs> we're all coming in the same direction. Uh, we will provide the chamber with a certificate of destruction uh, for the, everything that's brought there. We will also destroy all the hard drive information with the hard drive press, which breaks the platters. And one more item is we will provide uh, receipts for tax purposes. Okay, good. So so I don't have to worry about deleting all of my data from a, a computer before I bring it down. You're going to smash it and make well, sure that nobody can uh, can get into that, that sensitive information. Yeah, we have a hard drive press that puts a hole into the platters that, that contains the information. Thereby, we can still recycle the other parts of the hard drive, the magnet, which is the rare earth, and also the circuit board. Okay. So it's a win-win for all. So I hear that a recycled computer gets smushed down pretty good, huh? What, uh... Yeah, it, it, it's all really dismantled. It's taken apart. Okay. And, then, and brought down to the smallest items possible or commodities, and then we send that on up like the plastics. We bail it and send it out for, to make new TVs and so forth. Okay. And does uh, Alianza partner with other groups in the community to do this as well? Is this a common... Well, usually we have quite a few event? Saturday events. Uh, we, we Right now we're recycling 90 school districts. Uh, we're doing the hospitals, law firms, and so forth. But the fundraisers, we're helping out groups like the homeless, ADAKC, um, Links for Life. So these fundraisers are really a super program. Last year, I think we gave back to the community over two hundred thousand dollars. So it's it's really a, a, a super program. Okay, well, again, that's this Saturday, January the seventeenth. Uh, that's the e-waste recycling event, uh, co-sponsored by Alianza and the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. It'll be at our offices, seventeen twenty-five Ice Street. Come in on the alley from H Street. Is that correct? H Street, okay. Yes. Uh, and for more information, you can give the chamber a call, 661-327-4421. Neil Agnes, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Oh, we appreciate See you it. Saturday. All right. Well, that's all the time we have this week for Strictly Business. I want to thank my guests, Nick Ortiz of the Western States Petroleum Association, Elaine McNerney of Dress for Success, Jerry Pearson of the Law Offices of Young Wildridge, and Neil Agnes of Alianza for joining us this morning. We'll be back next week. For Melissa Rossiter and all of us at the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce, we'll see you next time.